hello guys, it's me, Nikki, and Priscilla. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, you guys have no idea how excited and honored I am to have you on my channel here today. Stop. I have known Priscilla pretty much when I started my channel. <laughs> like that is almost 10 years ago. I watched her back in the day on YouTube when she had her own eyeshadows. She's had a nail salon, I've seen it all. But now, nowadays, Priscilla is Rihanna's makeup artist. And Fenty Beauty's global makeup artist. Exactly. <laughs> Applause for my girl. I'm actually really excited to be here with you. I'm in Holland with Nikki Tutorials. Like, this is crazy to me. I know. Like, I am in the, I'm where the magic happens. <laughs> like, but it's definitely magical in here. I can feel the aura of magic while I'm in here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> the fact that we are here is, it just warms my heart so much. So today, Priscilla is gonna be doing my makeup using all Fenty stuff, I'm so excited. Plus, we have a surprising little sneak peek to something very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing, I'm like, and now Priscilla can talk, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so without any further ado, Beat my face, honey. Here we go. Beat it. <laughs> okay, Priscilla. We ready? Get your hands on my face, girl. I think that a lot of people think you have really good lighting and that's why your skin looks so good. Which is kind of true. No, no. you have good skin. <laughs> Like really good skin, I'm impressed. I was like, at first I was like, I wonder what her skin texture is like. <laughs> Rough. It's been nice to me lately. We're gonna make your skin look like skin. I'm gonna give you what Rihanna calls the Fenty face. Mm -hmm. So it's all about skin looking like skin. So first we're gonna start with our Pro Filter Primer. And I'm gonna take our full body foundation brush, which I love, and I'm just gonna apply it. And this primer is to help make your makeup stay longer. How involved is Re? 100% involved. Right. She comes up with every idea, every shade name to the packaging. Mm -hmm. I've been in meetings with her where we have creative meetings. It's all her. Oh my Which God. Which you can tell by the product, by the packaging, how heavy everything is, how like, She you know. loves makeup. She loves makeup. There are so many celebrity makeup brands, like so many, but I feel like Rihanna is one of the few that actually gets it because she loves it and Often with celebrities, it's like they come up with a makeup brand and they don't know the littlest things about it. Right. And I'm like. But you know she's a makeup artist in her own right too. You know she does her makeup a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Like when she doesn't have a makeup artist and you see her in those amazing paparazzi shots where she just looks like a goddess, she did yeah. her own face. She can do makeup so well. And I think because she understands makeup, that's yeah. what sets her apart from other brands. So I'm using the foundation on you right now. Whoa, that's so nice. And you said you usually use 120 and that's why I went slightly darker. She went, no, you. let the artist take over. She's like 140, girl. <laughs> We're going 140. We're going to give you a little color. You're doing it with the brush. Yes. I'm so scared of doing foundation with brushes. I know, it's hard these days, especially because everyone uses a sponge. I do use a sponge too at the end. You're gonna see, I'm gonna go over it with the sponge. Going back to the formula of the foundation, mm -hmm. you know, Rihanna's from Barbados and mm -hmm. it gets really humid there. Mm -hmm. She needed something humidity resistant, especially because she has an oily skin. Right. So this foundation is tested, certified in a lab, humidity resistant 100% long wear 100%. So you can put it on and go out and it really does last. Anytime we're doing anything on stage, like when she's performing, we always go <gasps> on with this foundation. Oh, talk to me about that. When Sir John was on my channel, everyone yeah. was like, what setting spray you use on Beyonce? Right. <laughs> there are secrets, you know, there's some things that you just have to use sometimes. So for me, I think that to make sure the makeup doesn't get oily, especially because Rihanna gets hot and mm -hmm. she does have oily skin, um, we definitely have to use our primer, so it's mm -hmm. our, our soft matte primer. The Pro Filter Foundation, 100%, there cannot be anything else. For, especially like Grammys, for instance, when I did it for the Grammys, mm -hmm. she had a, a makeup change because she performed as well. You know what I like about that? It's like everyone's going back to the music videos now to find out what the next product is because with um, Wild Thoughts, the blue and the Moroccan right, Spice palette, right. we're like, oh, and then every time it's like, oh, she wore it in this and we're like, oh, God dang it. This is looking so nice on you. I know, I'm so amazed. It's with a brush and I'm like, where, where are the streaks? Oh, the fact that you're doing my makeup right now. Stop. The fact that I'm doing your makeup, I can't believe I'm in this iconic studio right now. I feel like when I'm old and gray and like my kids are like on YouTube, I'm like, yeah, you know that <laughs> I did a video with Nikki Tutorials. They're gonna be like, no Stop. way. Stop it. We always wanna do the neck though. Mm-hmm. 
you know our neck doesn't get as much sun as the rest of our face and our body, so especially, it's always a little especially mine because it's, it's always a little lighter. And there's the double chin. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna conceal. I'm gonna use Matchsticks Matte. They're not meant for concealer and contour. They're meant for anything. You yeah, can use I'm them. excited to see how you're gonna because when I tried it on myself, I uh -huh. personally didn't like how like it's set on the skin. Right. So this is my my technique is I like to warm it up on the uh, back of my hand to get it creamy, uh -huh. and then I put it on. Sometimes they are a little dry, yeah. which we always get feedback on, which is normal, because these are formulated to be a soft matte finish like our foundation, so more right. of that powdery finish. Um, and they're also tested in a lab, so they'll never go dried out. So um, if you lose your cap and you leave it out, it'll never dry out. You do buff it in with the sponge. I do use the sponge and I like to use it flat. Okay. It, and it fits your under eye perfectly, so it makes it super easy. I'm gonna rectify that review. I'm even surprised Fenty wanted to film this because I was like, um, they did see my review, right? <laughs> I didn't see it, you saw it? Yeah. She's like, I did. But see, we I love you. It. It's real though, you have to be honest. You can't lie. This is what I love. I love a brand that respects opinions we do. and and is here to change my mind and here to clearly. Prove you wrong and be like, girl, let me show you real quick. <laughs> so even though this foundation gets dry, like once it's dry, you know, it's like you, it doesn't move. It's not like others where you can't layer because then it gets cakey. You can actually continue to layer, it'll never cake up. I've done photo shoots with Rihanna before where we have to do like five looks in one day and I don't take her makeup off, I just keep layering. And sometimes just refreshing it with like a spritz and then go over with it with a sponge. Really? It like reactivates it. Yeah, we hate cakey lips. I like to have them nice and moist. With that said, I'm gonna prep them a little bit and put a little bit of lip balm on there. Lip balm. And when I say lip balm, I say gloss balm. <gasps> Is this the moment? We're gonna present our new diamond milk. So I usually use gloss balm to prep the lip because of all the beautiful, amazing shea butter it has. It actually really does nourish the lips. You have balm lips too, girl. Mm, thank you, doctor. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what do your followers call you? Do you have like a name? Glow babies. Oh, they're your glow babies. And are you what? Who are you? Glow mama. You're I the don't glow know. Mama? I love that. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna contour, and I'm gonna take a little bit of latte, the matchstick. So I put it on the back of my hand, and then I take a little bit of the amber matchstick, which is cooler because you have a more fair skin tone, a cooler skin tone. Mm -hmm. So I'm mixing the two together. See, so I get like this really pretty taupey, mm. like contour color. Ooh. Then I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush so when I contour I don't usually like to stripe like how like everyone stripes I like to build my contour little by little because I feel like it puts less work in for my my arm <laughs> yeah and the stripe is like really hard to blend exactly out. so and it just takes you more time and you're just making it harder for yourself I don't remember the last time I mean a client has told me Priscilla you have as much time as you want take your time it never happens mm -mm. they're always like you have 30 minutes you have 20 minutes what is like your biggest advice on that because it's like the main thing when working with celebrities or like important people. It's like, you get 20 minutes. Yeah. Good luck. Every single time. So my thing is cut corners wherever you can. Like for me, it's primer. I know people are going to come right. for me and be like, no, we love primer. But like pick one or the other. I either primer or I moisturize sometimes. And for me, it's striping the face with contour. Mm -hmm. Because it's just going to take you more time to get rid of those lines that you create. What's the weirdest place you've ever done makeup in? Private plane, I guess. Private plane. Yeah. Casual. So tell me, who do you work with a lot? You know, since I'm the global makeup artist for Fenty Beauty, I'm kind of dedicating a lot of my time to Fenty Beauty. So currently, it's mostly just Rihanna. Clients that I worked with that are really great clients of mine. I worked with, obviously, you know Erica Jane. You love her. Mm -hmm. Amber Rose, who's actually a mm -hmm. sweetheart and one of my really good friends. Gorgeous. I'm loving. Now normally I usually like to do eyes first and I do I always use skin last. Oh really? But the Fenty face always does skin first, so I'm giving you that. And Re always likes me to do her foundation before I do her eyes. I like Re. That's me. Do you do foundation first too? Oh yeah. I feel like she has to see her skin looking right before she can decide like how much eye we want. Okay, I'm gonna do your eyes now. I did do a little foundation because you know you have a little bit of redness on your eyes. Mm -hmm. Now I'm doing our Pro Filter Amplifying Primer. Now the look I'm going for, I'm going for expensive, mm -hmm. on a yacht, mm -hmm. St. Bart's on mm -hmm. New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. bringing in the new year. Where's that's, my man? That's the look I'm going mm -hmm. for. We're gonna, you know, do a nice little eye, but it's still gonna look really pretty and just really expensive. Okay, we're gonna go in with our Moroccan Spice palette. I'm gonna go in with some Fez Up 
And I'm gonna take a little, I like to dab on the back of my hand and I'm actually gonna apply this as your crease color. And I like to start on the outer part of the eye and then I blend up into the crease of the eye. And I'm just gonna do like a slight wash in the crease, nothing too crazy. First I'm gonna do a little bit of our CLF Diamond Ball Out. Uh. And I'm gonna do it on the inner corners. When you create your looks, mm -hmm. is it like teamwork? Like do you come up with looks together or is with it Rihanna? like- Rihanna? Yeah. Oh yeah, she's a genius, a makeup genius. I, I just, she knows what she wants. And I would say it's always a collaboration with her. Sometimes she already knows what she wants. She's like, mm -hmm. this is what I want. And we, boom, you know? Yeah. Or sometimes it'll be like, you know, we'll talk. Most of the time we always have um, like a meeting before, like mm -hmm. the night before, mm -hmm. and I'll come over. It's a, it's a little kiki, there's music, there's food, we're talking, we're vibing, hair's there, wardrobe's there. It's a whole experience. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of nuts and dates, but I'm just gonna do like a wash of it. I don't wanna do it like super pigmented. If you could go back in time, who is an icon that you would love to have worked with? Like doing their makeup, Michael Jackson. My, really? 100%. Because you know he loved him a full beat. Mm-hmm. I would slay those brows, slay that black liner under his bottom lash line. And he was just like magic to me. Like growing up, no lie, I promise you right now, I put this on everything. Mm -hmm. Every night when I was a kid, I would pray to God and I would say as one of my prayers and say, please, I Lord, I want to meet Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was my hero. Like you don't understand. Did you ever get to meet him? No. Oh. You? Mm. Honestly, Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse, that liner girl. I love her so much. I'm gonna give you the best brow bone of your life in a little bit, but I'm gonna do your brows first. And I'm gonna give you a classic wispy brow. This is gonna be so different. Oh my God, I can't wait to see your makeup at the end. Just a little bronzer. You know, when I first heard about Fenty Beauty, I legit thought that Rihanna was gonna make a song for every product out there. <laughs> really? I was convinced. Like when she came up with foundations, I was like, where's the matching song? <laughs> I was like, so wh where's track number one for a foundation? Oh my God, She'd be like, so and funny. now you take your brush, brush, brush. <laughs> oh my God. I can't be the only one who thought that though. What is like the one little makeup hack that you feel not a lot of people know about, but people should know about? I like to apply highlighter and then wet it down and then highlighter and then wet it down again. And See, that's gives, what I mean. It just goes, it just gives you that super glow. Okay, so now we're going to do some highlight. Ready to announce our girl? Ta-da! I am gonna grace your cheekbones with this. Boom. Just fine. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the Rihanna highlighting technique on you. Oh my god. Which is when you take your brush and you do your brow bone and you swipe it and you take it on your temple and then you go over to your cheekbone swipe what? back on your temple temple cheekbone so it kind of gives this like effect look at that look at that look at that look at that it's so pretty wait why hasn't anybody in this room told me up to this point that it was that is what you do it's a surprise this is called how many carrots it's a diamond bomb this looks like luxurious wet skin. This is what the, the Bond girls look like when they walk out of the water. It totally is. Rihanna Technique, brow bone, temple, cheekbone. So it's like a mm -hmm. It's so good, right? It's like wet luxury. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of liner and I'm just gonna do like a like nice little thin one because we're gonna make it all about you're, you're a diamond. I'm mixing a little bit of cumin get it and socket to me. Now we're gonna go in with our diamond milk. She's gonna get coated. Wet skin, wet lips, wet eyes. <laughs> Just gonna tap a little bit of it 
on top of your eyelids too to give like a wet effect. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> now we want to shimmer up your tits. <laughs> People are like, this is the content I subscribed for. Right. And there we have it. The completed look all done. Oh my God. Oh my God. Priscilla, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm like, every time I say something and I catch a glimpse of myself, I'm like, what? This is such a fun, fun collection and you are such an artist. Oh, thank you. Now let's get on our boat to St. Bart's. Goodbye. Goodbye. I want to thank you so much for watching. Priscilla, thank you so much for coming all the way to Amsterdam and have some makeup fun with me. It truly was so much fun. It was an honor. I will do it anytime. I will catch that 12 hour flight for you, honey. Anytime. And then you're staying longer. This is not long enough. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more artists on my channel, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so I know that I should do it more often. If we're in Priscilla back, it's going to happen eventually. I just know it will. Thumbs up. Thank you, I love you, and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Now, let's get this boat, honey. Let's go. Goodbye. Peace. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.